Okay, going to show an example of how Illuminati Pope Francis is actually, you know, calling for, you know, he basically is saying defending democracy and attacking what would be called right-wing populists. So he is defending the satanic Jesuit agenda of democracy. You see, democracy is not the same thing as a, what would be called a constitutional republic or a constitutional monarchy. Democracy is actually a very bad ideology. It is not good. And once you just look into it, you'll see that democracy is not something you should be defending. But of course, the Pope is a socialist communist, so he hates freedom and liberty. And of course, he's going to defend democracy against, you know, right-wing populists. And I'm going to show this article from CTV News, uh, in Democracy's Birthplace, Pope Francis warns about populist threat threats, it says on the article. So, and by populist threats, he basically referring to what would be called right-wing populists. Because the Pope is basically an Illuminati, besides being a servant of Satan, the Pope is just an Illuminati. Uh, well, obviously the Illuminati works the Jesuits, the Jesuits run the Illuminati. But, uh, he's just a shill for Satan, he's just a Luciferian shill. But I'm going to read this article. It says, uh, Pope Francis warned Saturday that the easy answers to po of populism and authoritarianism are threatening democracy in Europe and called for a fresh dedication to promoting the common good rather than narrow nationalist threats. R arriving in Greece, the birthplace of democracy, Francis used a speech to, Greek to a Greek political and cultural leaders to warn Europe that large, at large uh, about the threats facing the continent. He said not only from uh, mul mul multilateralism, uh, can address uh, the pressing issues of today from protecting the environment to fighting the pandemic and poverty. Yeah, the pandemic that the Jesuit ran Illuminati caused. And you just, you know, bear with me. I'm not good at reading on a computer. It does, you know, do some stuff in my eyes. It hurts my eyes a little bit. But I do it because this is the easier uh, format for me to do it on. So anyway, continuing, uh, quote, politics need this. In order to put common needs ahead of private interests, Francis said, yeah, yet we cannot avoid uh, noting the concern today and not only in europe we are witnessing the retreat from democracy francis who lived in argentina's populist uh, pinorist era as well as his military dictatorship has frequently warned about the threat of authoritarianism and populism and the danger it poses to Europe the european union and democracy itself he didn't name any specific countries or leaders during his speech the eu however is locked in a feud between members uh, Poland and Hungary over rule of law issues with Warsaw, insisting that Poland take precedence over EU policies and regulations. Uh, co coincidentally, uh, on the same day Francis warned about the populist threat to Europe, right-wing populist leaders met in Warsaw and, de and declared they will work more closely together to defend their sovereignty at the European Parliament. Okay, just want to point out, okay, I'm not a big fan of any kind of authoritarianism. Hey, authoritarianism is not the answer to issues like uh, illegal illegal Islamic migration, illegal Muslim migration, uh, all the kinds of problems the European Union face. Authoritarianism is not the answer to that. But Pope Francis is arguing it from a, a flawed point. Okay, because why? He's just the, the Illuminati Jesuits. The Jesuit ran Illuminati. You know, they're pushing the satanic agenda. And the Catholic Church is a Luciferian cult that is bringing on the Antichrist. Okay, continuing. Outside the bloc, populist leaders in Brazil the administration, and the administration of the former U.S. President Donald Trump pressed nationalist policies on the environment that, contra that contrasted sharply with Francis' call to, quote, care for our common home. Opening the second leg of his five-day trip to Cyprus and Greece, Francis recalled that it, is, it was Greece, according to Aristotle, Aristotle that uh, became a conscience of being a political animal, uh, a, a being a political animal and a member of a community of fellow citizens. Of fellow citizens yeah sure uh continuing quote here democracy was born francis told greek president katrina uh sake circa I hope i'm saying that name right uh quote that cradle thousands of years later was to become a house a great house of democratic peoples i'm speaking of the european union and a dream of peace and for and fraternity that it represents uh for so many peoples that dream is at risk amid economic upheaval and other disruptions of the pandemic that can breed national sentiments and make authoritarianism seem compelling, quote, compelling, and populism's easy answers to the to appear attractive, Francis said. Quote, the remedy is not to be found in an obsessive quest for popularity, in a thirst for visibility, and in, an unreal, in a flurry of unrealistic premises, but in a good in good politics, he said. He's referring, you know, obviously to the Greek Empire. The, the Greek Empire, yeah, it was a haven for democracy. It was also a haven for bestiality, uh, pedophilia, incest, polygamy, fornication, homosexuality, you name it. 
Okay, so yeah, it had democracy, but look at the results of that. And again, not saying authoritarianism is the answer. Authoritarianism is what you get when you have, is basically what brings in China. Okay, China, North Korea, Soviet Russia, they're the fruits of authoritarianism. So I'm not advocating for that either. But, you know, using ancient Greece as some kind of good example, you know, it was a society of perverts. Okay, and I'm not being mean. Yeah, there was some interesting, there was some interesting aspects of ancient Greece society, but it was a society of perverts. Okay, don't, don't kid me. Continuing, uh, Francis praised the necessary vaccination campaign promoted by governments to tame the coronavirus. He referenced another Greek doctor philosopher, uh, Hippo, Hippocrates, am I saying that right? Uh, in response to vaccine skeptics and virus deniers who count many religious conservatives among them. Francis cited Hippocratic Oath Francis cited a Hippocratic oath to not only do what is best for the sick, but to obtain from whatever is harmful and offensive to others, especially the elderly. Greece president echoed the sentiment, the virus spreads and mutates, helped by the irrational denial of reality and inequalities in our societies. Uh, he said, I don't know how to say his name, Greece is grappling with its highest level of coronavirus infections since the start of the pandemic, with deaths approaching the second levels, a quarter of the uh, country's adults remain unvaccinated and parliament recently approved a vaccine mandate for people over 60, age of 60. You know, so again, he's quoting these pagan Greek philosophers who probably were a lot of perverts too, because again, look at ancient Greek society. It was a society, it was a pagan society of Greece was a society of perverts. You know, you can, you know that, that may be too real for some people to take, but that's just the blunt and brutal reality. And he's citing them, and of course he's pushing these vaccine mandates, which I'm, I'm not going to say too much on that, because, you know, the uh, free speech hating leftists, left wing, you know, left wing extremists on YouTube hate free speech, and they're going to shut me down if I say anything else. But it's not surprising that the Jesuit Pope Francis is pushing these vaccines. It's a satanic Illuminati Jesuit agenda. But I just wanted to show you that. So you got Illuminati Pope Francis calling for you know, under the guise of saying, oh, we're going to go against authoritarianism, while the Catholic Church is the most authoritarian, you know, next to Hinduism, Islam, uh, Talmudic Judaism, it's all just a bunch of authoritarianism, you know, the Catholic Church is next to their sister cults of Hinduism, Islam, and Judaism. But, you know, it's not surprising. It's a satanic Illuminati agenda to push in this ideology of democracy, which, by the way, authoritarianism will be the system of the Antichrist, but this is just a satanic psyop. I'll just put it that way. So don't be deceived, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.